Alrighty, welcome to another four on four cube draft. We've got the cube regulars and some new faces. It's myself, Folero Warsnop. Don't know who or what that is exactly, and a raging tilt monster. All right, so we're battling against Talisker, Falcon Eye, Troll Cynic, and Team J Bro. I would I would describe us as the underdogs, but you know what? Makes for a great story, and uh, we've got a misty rainforest here. Makes for a not great first pick. Part of why I think we're the underdogs. <laughs> uh, there's also a counter spell. Counter spell's a great card, but I'm not going to take a double blue card over a Misty. I think Misty's enough better. If you erase the Misty from the pack, you know, maybe Counterspell would be reasonable. And I think I would start on Counterspell over days. I am passing to Team J Bro, who is going to take out of this pack. Kind of depends on his first pick. He loves days. He loves. He just loves tempo decks. He would take a Stoneforge if he took a white card, maybe. But he could take a Counterspell. He, he definitely does draft blue as well. But I'm going to take Misty and... Ah, gone are the days where I would just slam LED. I just don't think I'm supposed to. Also, I'm in between Troll Aesthetic and J-Bro, so they know my tricks. They, they don't let me get away with anything. I think I might just take True Name Nemesis. I think True Name's pretty solid. I could draft a Tempo deck as well. Passing J-Bro two Mana Dorks, he's probably going to take... L probably Pilgrim, actually, is the better one. And... Yeah, I'm going to pass on an LED and maybe a Brawler comes back. I've been liking Domain recently, but I think True Name is solid here. Let's see if Matt can pass me some blue cards. Well, there's a Tishana's Tidebinder. I do like that card as well. Probably will take it over like Firebolt and Burst Lightning, Rafine's Tower, and Life Death. Those are all good cards, but Tidebinder is great in True Name decks. So I think we've got a somewhat of a direction here, but we'll see. We'll see. Ah. People just keep passing me library. I think this card is really busted now. I'm going to take library here. Though it does make me wish I took firebolt because uh, just one mana removal spells are great with library. But I'm still going to take library over Raugrin Triumph and Prismari Command. So Grixis and Jeskai Triumphs are both gone. Raugrin and, and Xander's Lounge are both gone, which is good to know. But certainly going to take library. Oh, and now I can take Ketria Triumph. Yeah, that looks excellent. It makes this land into a blue-red land, but also... I look like I'm heading in the blue red, blue red green direction. So I think that's going to be better than taking like Elite Spellbinder or like a two drop like Magda. I think Ketria Triumph is, is a good pickup. Interesting. This pack has the first really good black cards we've seen, I think. It's also a Watery Grave. There's also a Time Spiral. Hmm. And a Utopia Sprawl. This is tough. Fatal Push is really good with Library. But it's kind of rough to take Fatal Push over Watery Grave when you have Misty. Empty the Catacomb, or from the Catacombs is good, but I don't really have a deck for that. And I don't mind passing it too much. I'm not really looking like a Time Spiral deck. Honestly, I think I do take Watery Grave. And I like it over Utopia Sprawl for now. Oh, and this pack has an Othari. But I haven't seen much of that either, so it makes me less worried about passing it. There's a Cryptic Command and a Stern Scolding, but I think I'm going to take Cryptic. This is... It's tough, though, because Stern Scolding Library is so strong. Open on Library, draw a card, land, Stern Scolding your thing, draw a card. Like, it's just exactly what you want. But I also kind of have the mana base for Cryptic, and Cryptic is really good if you have the mana for it. I think I'm going to go with Cryptic. Uh, that could be an error, but who knows. Oh, now there's a Time Warp. We look like we're drafting a just a nice blue deck. I think I'll take Time Warp over Bank Buster. There is also Fallen Shinobi. Hold on, I have Watery Grave, and I have two creatures that are really good with Fallen Shinobi. Actually, I'm going to go with the Fallen Shinobi. I think that we've got an opportunity here. This pack has a Kinnon, which I don't care about. A Persist, which doesn't look that good. A Talisman doesn't look good. I could take a Seacrim Coast, five color blue. There was also a Basalt Monolith in one of the other packs. Maybe I just take Kinnon on spec. I'm passing a Sahili as well, but I don't really care too much about that. All right, there's a Waterlogged Grove here, but also there's an Urtai. I look like I could be a really good blue-black deck. I don't think I want to take a green one drop or a brawler here as much as I like those cards. Urtai looks good. Oh, I'll be happy to take Generous Ent because I can get Ketria Triome. And this pack has, oh, a Dig Through Time? Dig Through Time could be good here. I only have one Fetch and an Ent, but basically those are two cards that go to the graveyard pretty easily. So I'll take that over Regrowth, and then the two red cards aren't that interesting. All right, well, Kinnon. Kinnon's probably not making the cut, but... We'll, we'll see about the rest. And then Oracle, Council Judgment, and Nyssa. You know, as much as I hate Oracle, this might be the time for it. A single green card is a lot more appealing than a double green card. 
Yeah, and I'll pass a late council's judgment to J Bro here. Okay, so we've got this start to like a nice Sultai deck. Oh, Witness I kind of like with Command. It's good with Fallen Shinobi. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm in for Witness here. We'll see where we end up, but blue and green have felt fairly open, so I kind of like kind of like this start. Now that I've taken the Witness, I could really go for a Time Walk. Ooh, I'll take a Mana Crypt, though. Fast Bond also good, but I don't. first of all, I don't think uh, Troll Sedek is that likely to be green after passing kind of late green cards, and Mana Crypt's busted in every deck, so Mana Crypt to go with... Well, it makes the Oracle pick a lot better, too. Yeah. We are indeed mana crypting here and passing a fast bond and mostly junk. All right, kind of great. This pack has Undermount Adventure, Underground Sea, and Dismember. But I just took Mana Crypt. Undermount Adventure is definitely what I want to take here over Dismember and Underground Sea. A little heavy on fours now. I could go for some cheaper cards. I could go for some ramp dorks now. Like the Avicen's Pilgrim now is looking good, but I think at the time that I took it, I was happy enough not to. Oh, and then this pack has a Shieldred. I mean, I'm going to play some black. I have a Watery Grave. I think I'll just take the Shieldred. Shieldred's a busted card. I don't really like passing busted cards. I don't think Matt is that likely to be playing black, but if I didn't take Shieldred, I would be taking... A troll, it's a worse black card, even though it is good. A steam vents that has no real application at the moment. A vamp tutor, which I'd rather just have a shieldred. All right, I'm just going to take shieldred. <laughs> Easy enough. Oh, there's an Urza Saga. I do like Urza Saga with Mana Crypt, and I could probably pick up another target or two. I'll take that over Narset. I'm not looking like a Narset deck. And Urza Saga is colorless instead of being double blue. Though I kind of think this Oracle is on its way out. Maybe Oracle and Witness... I mean, those are kind of maybes. The Shieldred makes me want to go heavier black, and I'll splash Undermount Adventure off Generascent and just kind of be blue-black, but we'll see. Well, now I've got to take Baleful's Tricks. It's so good with Fallen Shinobi, and it's great with Library. And it's even a little minor combo with Urza Saga. There is also Sensei's Top for the Saga, but I'd rather just take the card, the proactive card. I like Snapcaster too, but Snapcaster is not looking fantastic here. So it's also Delighted Halfling, but I think I'm going to go blue-black. Here, there's a blue-green talisman, which is nice with to pump the saga tokens. I'm not taking Spellseeker or Gorio's Vengeance. And I guess between Cut Down and Infernal Grasp, I would just take Infernal Grasp, which I think I am going to do here. A little bit of pain here with Infernal Grasp and uh, Mana Crypt, Watery Grave, you know. But I have Shieldred for life gain. That can help. Oh, I can also Tishana's Tidebinder, my own Mana Crypt, and it shuts it off forever. It stops it from tapping for mana abilities, but, uh, oh, yeah, it, but it, it would still be great. Well, this is tough, because now there's a Noble here. Well, I think I have to go back into green then for Noble, because I, I don't want Portal. I don't care much for Rex Sage or Simic Growth Chamber. I don't think I want to spec on Thopter Foundry here. Though maybe, maybe that is better, because I'm not that set up to be green. But my mana is such that it wouldn't be crazy to be green. I have a Misty and a Ketria Triome and a Generous Ent. Noble's really good with... Yeah, Noble's just really good with Library, too. All right, we'll take the Noble. We'll see We'll see what's up. And then this pack has Chrome Host, Seed Shark, and Sentinel. I think I'll take the Seed Shark because I'm going to be playing blue. That I do know. Seed Shark is very good. I don't care about Lotus Field. Passing a late Pyrokinesis. That's fine. I do love, do love my boy, the sign of Draco, but uh, yeah, I'll take the I'll take the Seed Shark. We'll, we'll see where we're at. Oh, Seed Shark, dig through time, anyone? Could I could go for some more interaction, and maybe I play the green, maybe I don't. Well, again, we'll have to see. I could take Tamiyo and just go all in an opening time walk. I could also take Recurring Nightmare. It's good with Baleful Strix. It's, I guess, good with Undermount Adventure and kind of good with Urtai. Can get back a Generous Ent. Uh care about passing selfless spirit i don't really like really the only way i would possibly use tamio is if i did open literal time walk i guess eternal witness recurring nightmare is kind of nice i don't know I'll, I'll just take the recurring nightmare that's fine this pack has an ophiomancer which i actually also like with uh fallen shinobi and is good with recurring nightmare legolas is quick reflexes which has earned a spot i do like it in the queue but i don't think i'm going to take it here i'm not going to take ashen rider citadel or copper line or Arwen, yeah, I'll take Ophiomancer. I'm still waffling a little bit on green versus black, but 
at this point, I'm most likely going to be playing blue black with Undermountain Adventure and Generous Ent as my green cards. This noble is TBD. We'll have to see about that. Oh, troll came back. Sorry, troll. You're not getting a troll. I could take uh, Zerda to have both Kinnon and Zerda, but I don't think that's the going to be the jam. Yeah, we'll take the troll here. Passing a late trumpet and Carnosaur, which is funny. Yeah, I mean, right now we've got Noble, Witness, and Oracle, and I'm just not that into any of them. Oh, Drown in the Lock. Probably fine. It, it basically kills things if their graveyard's filled up, and I don't need Seed of the Synod. I guess Seed of the Synod does not get fetched by Urza Saga, so I'm not that into it. And I don't care much about Restless Vents. I don't think I'm going to splash Lingering Soul, so I'll take Mutagenic Growth. I basically see Mutagenic Growth as a sideboard card against people who try to kill your uh, creatures with burn spells. And I guess I'll take Spellseeker over Bring to Light in case I open Time Walk. I swear, if I open Time Walk, this would be the most, <laughs> the most blessed draft I can imagine. Oh, man. Look at this. No busted card. We open Verdant and Delta and Oko. I love all those cards. Mm. Oko or Mox Diamond? I'm kind of feeling Mox Diamond here. I've got a lot of good threes and fours. Oh, man, but Oko's so good. Mox is great with Library. Mox is also another card to fetch off Saga, which sometimes is still good. Really shame passing two Sultai fetch lands that I'm not going to get back. Um, I think I'm going to take the Mox. I think I want a little bit more acceleration here. And I also don't think Jaybro's in a great position to use the Mox, or sorry, use the Oko, given what he passed me in pack two. So I'll take Mox Diamond. We'll, we'll see how, how well or poorly that turns out. Well, now I'm just going to take Remand. I like Lorien Revealed, but I have two other Land Cyclers already. I would love to wheel Leovold. That would be a nice card for this deck. And there's also a Brainstorm there too, so it doesn't sound crazy to do those. Oh, Demonic Tutor, Duress, and Animate Dead. Also Underworld Breach, but I can't take that. I think I think this is looking more like an animate dead than deck than anything else. The problem with demonic tutors, I don't have any anything to really DT for. Like I can DT for one of my four drops, but that's just not that good. And oh, I've also got two two land cyclers. Yeah. We'll just take the animate. And now we'll probably take overgrown tomb. Could use another land. It also makes troll into green and ent into black. Yeah, that's great. Over Arcane Denial, Exploration, Preacher, Deathrite, Imperial Seal. You know, we actually have a lot of cards in this pack that I could I could end up playing. Gristlebrand is not something I'm into, despite having Animate Dead, but Steving Skydiver to go with my Fallen Shinobi looks excellent to me, and it's just a good card. So yeah, I like that. Over Concealing Curtains. Here, I think I just take Probe. I do have, well, I could take Memory Jar. Memory Jar Shieldred is just a win. I didn't take the Demonic Tutor, sadly, but... Jar as just a way to steal a game is pretty nice, though Gitaxian Probe is a really strong card. It just helps you know what to like, whether to keep up Tidebinder or gets you a you know immediate value off Seed Shark or lets you know when the coast is clear for Fallen Shinobi. Hmm. Mm. It also fills the graveyard for Dig. This isn't that great of a Jar deck, though I guess it is decent with Mana Crypt and I could do stuff. I don't know. I think I'll just take the probe. Though having a way to just kill them out of nowhere. No, I'll take the probe. I, I just, I don't think I'm that worried about it. Oh, I like Dark Ritual in this deck as a way to speed things up. Tur turn two Undermountain. Turn one even off Mox. Turn two Shieldred. <laughs> a Fallen Shinobi out of nowhere. There's also Unearth, which has th four, s five good targets for it. It's not great with the Skydiver. That's a close one, huh? Dark Ritual is good with Adventure and Shieldred. Okay with Shinobi, okay with Urtai. Unearth is good with more cards. I guess I have Mana Crypt and Mox Diamond already. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try the Unearth. That one's close, though. I'm not sure about that. Mm, this is a bad pack. There's tons of good red cards, and I'm not playing red. This is pick eight, so I guess my Urza Saga is not getting anything too exciting at this point. Uh, what is Jaybro most likely? I think Chain Lightning's like the best card in the pack. I don't know. I don't really see Jaybro playing any of these cards, or rather, I can't cut all the cards from Jaybro, so I don't. Yeah, I don't really know what the point is. I think I'll take Oliphant here. I have enough playables. I'm not worried about Graveyard Trespasser. I think that card is pretty mid. 
So this makes me want to just take hate the Oliphant because it's definitely just the best card in the pack. And now there's an Aragorn as well. Would I play Sakura Tribe Elder? I don't think I would. So I'll just hate the Aragorn as well. Unmarked Grave, no. Once Upon a Time is definitely the best card, though I don't think I'm going to play it in my deck. When you can't easily cast it, the card loses some of its luster. It is a late exploration, but we didn't end up as an exploration deck. I'll take Manglehorn for the sideboard. Wow, Black got cut pretty hard these last couple picks, and then I guess I guess I'll take Taiga. I mean, Taiga means it's probably not crazy to consider splashing something, but I guess I Chain Lightning would be the only card. Just Taiga would give me three, four red sources, five red sources. Oh, that is actually kind of enough to splash Chain Lightning, and that card is really good. Yeah, I'm kind of in for that. It's good with Library. It's good with Dig Through Time. Those are both things I like. It's good with the Beatdown Plan. And that's put, this puts me at 17 land plus Mox Diamond Mana Crypt, which I don't mind. Oh, I actually probably want one more spell because of Troll and Generascent. I could look at my mana. I don't think I'm playing Gruel Turf still. And see if I want to play that Noble or maybe play Oliphant. I'll have to take a look. All right. Well, not the best Urza Saga deck in the world, but this deck is totally fine. I could have used one more counter spell. I do have, what, a Cryptic a Remand, and a Drown in the Lock, so that's like on the low end. But Tishana's Tidebinder also can count. Um, so what are we looking at here? 17 land. So we're really at like 19 land with because the two land cyclers, so I've got to pull in some reinforcements here. Let's see. Spellseeker for Unearth. Oh. So the best cards in my sideboard that I'm not playing, I mean... Aragorn is like the best card I'm not playing, but I, I don't really see a way to get to Aragorn. I have 12 creatures. Is Recurring Nightmare good? It's good with Ophiomancer. <clears throat> it's kind of good with Seed Shark. You make to actually lets you bounce it and you keep making tokens. All right, all right. Getting back under Mountain is cool. You just keep going up the initiative chain and Baleful Strix, but I don't have any like Game Breakers like there. So I don't know about that. What, what would my mana look like? Let's, let's build a mana base because... Honestly, if my, if my mana base supports Noble Hierarch, I'll just play it. The card is really good. So let's build the optimal mana base for not having that. How many green sources would I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven green sources already. And I would have a forest, I think, though. I guess if I initiative, I don't care too much about getting a forest. Well, let's see. And then... Three black sources is three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. And then that leaves four islands. Because I'm not going to play a mountain. I'll, I'll, I'll live if I can't cast Chain Lightning for a turn. Four, uh, Troll gets black, or gets blue, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue. So in this setup, I'll have one, one, two, three, four, five turn one green. And then Triome plus the two land cyclers is a little bit slower. So eight, that's enough to play Noble, honestly. And it probably is enough to play Once Upon a Time as well. Because if this is my opener, I cast it for free. And if I have to spend two mana on it, I have eight green sources. That's not that bad. Okay, I think that's where we're at here. This gives me more outs to find library on turn one. I really like that. And... Without a mountain, I still have four, five red sources. I'm willing to gamble. Plus, Urza Saga can get Mox Diamond. That's a bit of a stretch. But all right, this deck, I think this deck is solid. I don't think this deck's amazing. But, you know, given given what we opened, we opened a Mana Crypt, and that one's good. And I actually feel pretty good about the Mox over Oko pick, given the way this ended up. Plus, we could probably do some pretty good Shinobiing. This is a nice Shinobi deck. It's got, like, Skydiver, Baleful Strix, and Ophiomancer, and True Name. Four, like, rock-solid Shinobi cards. And then Tidebinder and Seed Shark and Urtai have, like, a decent shot. And, honestly, an innocuous little Noble can actually sneak in there, too. So, I like where this is at. Let's take a look at the team. All right, well, my opponent's ready before my team. So, we'll, we'll take a live look at our team's decks. But, uh, for right now, I'm battling against Falcon Eye. Ooh, it's got a companion. Lutri is the most common one, just because it's no requirements, so every time it's opened, it gets played in someone's companion slot. 
Could also be Luris, and that's it. Oh, it is Luris. All right, well, I'm going to keep my uh, Library of Alexandria opening hand and play turn one library. And kind of hope that's good because <laughs> the rest of my hand is not fantastic. <clears throat> I don't have blue, but I'm not wor too worried about that. Turn one library, turn two swamp. Turn three years of Saga, maybe. We'll see if I can get away with doing nothing for that long. I probably can't, but it looks like Falcon is deciding whether to mulligan or not. So if Falcon I mulligans and maybe has a slightly slower start. No, they didn't mulligan. Well, sometimes the Luris decks are like control decks that just have tons of removal plus Luris. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. I thought that was a duress or inquisition. Taking me off library turn one would have been such a beat. Any Ketria Triumph? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the card I was hoping for. Okay, Ketria Triumph, and then we'll see what next turn looks like. We've got a Thopter Foundry. Ooh, I can Skydiver that in a few turns here. Mm, I don't think I want to play Urza Saga this turn. I think I might just play the Swamp. Though, honestly, I'm going to get Skydiver, or I'm going to get Concealing Curtains. The other alternative is I can play Seed Shark or Ophiomancer. And then I wouldn't get the library is kind of the issue. Wow, Drown in the Lock is so good against Courtyard, but it can't quite get there. It'd be so sick if he, like, played a fetch land. <laughs> um, what do I do here? I could give up on library. I mean, playing Seed Shark isn't giving up on library. It's just, I think it's too much mana to waste. And I don't think I want to... No, actually, I do like playing Saga this turn. Let's go Saga. Let's play Chrome Host Seed Shark. And then now, if if Falconeye wants to curtains me, I'll go to six, stay at six cards because I draw. Go to seven, library. Oh, Luris Academy. You know what? That's pretty cool. I haven't actually ever done that. I, I like I like what Falconeye is brewing here. He's got to take the Skydiver, I would imagine. It's pretty hard not to. And then next turn I get to library and then you start using Urza Saga. That's my plan. Okay, well, unfortunately the revealing eye did get me kind of nicely and that anime dead does not help. All right, let's draw a card. Play a land and I guess hit for two. I don't really see another play here. Could use another blue at some point, though this Saga actually might get a Mox Diamond. I'd have to, hold on, I might have to library on upkeep to do that, because what, what I would do is I'd library up to eight, draw up to nine, and then Saga triggers and Mox Diamond comes in and discards, because otherwise I would draw up to eight, Mox, oh, I guess Mox Diamond puts me to seven. Yeah, I guess I don't I actually don't need to library first. Uh, sure, Vault Sleeper's not. Too scary, and then no plays. Okay. Like, didn't put Luris into hand. Hmm. I guess, yeah, I guess I don't need to do, actually don't want to draw extra cards looking for that. Oh, that's kind of interesting. All right, let's make, I think I make another construct here. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. All right, and then get Mox Diamond, I think over Mana Crypt. My, my hand is very, like, blue intensive. Also, I wouldn't be able to library if I didn't do it this way. Another land would be nice. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's a mana crypt. Okay. Let's make a shark token, which doesn't do anything, but it does make my constructs bigger. And then I think I'm going to attack before doing anything here. And can't evolve that up to death touch yet. Just chumping, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play Ophiomancer. I feel like leaving Remand up is just not that exciting. I don't really care if the Ophiomancer gets countered or something. And I guess I'm in a little bit of trouble against the Thopter Foundry, but not much I can do about that. Okay, he didn't use Academy. Well, is, is he tinkering? Oh, oh, he's deluging. Okay, sure. That, that doesn't bother me. I've got this library going. Library's just dominating here. You can put Luris into hand if you want. I'm probably going to animate dead the uh, Chrome Host Seed Shark, is my guess. 
But at this point, Drown in the Lock is on. And remember, Falcon Eye knows about these two cards. Oh, this deck's really fun to play. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yep, Luris into hand. I won the flip. Nice draw. Okay, so I want to make sure we don't go down off library. I could also just unearth. Actually, unearth sounds pretty sick. So let's go unearth on the seed shark. And we have seven cards still. If I play two of them, I'll go to two low. Let's... It's kind of hard not to play a land. I mean, I could just play Noble. I could animate dead something. What would I animate dead? I could animate dead an Ophiomancer. I mean, that doesn't actually sound too bad. And then I could remand Luris. And if he replays Luris, it would take Sacking Lotus Petal and a land, and then he would be able to then replay Lotus Petal, replay Concealing Curtains. So I kind of feel like, like I just passed the turn. Because if I use Drown in the Lock, then I'll go to six cards, and I want to be able to library still. So I think I just sit here. I don't, I don't, it's not like I mind, I mean, I missed a couple land drops here, but I have the Mox and the Mana Crypt, so I'm not really like feeling too crunched on mana. If I drown in the lock, the Luris, I still get to animate the token end of turn. And if Falcon Eye does nothing with his turn, then that's fine. We both did nothing. I have a Seed Shark and a Library in play. I'm getting value from that. The one thing I have to watch out for is Sword of the Meek. I can't counter it, and I don't have an answer. I'm definitely siding in Manglehorn here. I'm um, taking a look. Yeah, I guess Tishana's Tidebinder is a good answer to that combo. You you countered a Thopter Foundry, I guess. Whoa, what is this? From the Catacombs of Turok with Kicker. Let's remand it. Seems like a good use of a remand. And if he counters back, he counters back. I'm not too worried. All right. Make a 2-2. Two, two. All right, looks like it's working. And then I'm going to animate the 2-2 two, because two, I don't really have anything else to do. And then next turn. Now, now because I didn't play my land, even though I didn't need to do that, it's fine because it just lets me have more, uh, more fle flexibility with library here too. Okay. Won the flip again. Nice. True Name Nemesis. Well, I'm a little short on blue mana. I think what I want to do here is I'm going to cast Baleful Strix. And actually, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna library in response. It's fine. I'm just gonna play Baleful Strix and leave up Drown in the Lock, play my land, and then attack for four here. And if I if I drown in the lock something, I don't just win because the Thopter Foundry can make a token, but obviously once Falcon Eye does that, he's just not. He's not going to win. Oh, you're going to take my Drown in the Lock. All right. I'll counter it. Oh, oh, oh. I'll draw a library. <laughs> and then I'll counter it. Counter Deep Cavern Bat and make a 2 2. You can't look at this game and tell me Library Alexandria is not a busted card. Like, it was the whole story of this game. I used it not every turn. One turn I cast the Seed Shark. I used it every other turn of the game. So I, I drew like five. I, I guess. I didn't, I didn't do it on a turn one because I was on the play. So I only drew like five cards off it. That's all. <laughs> yeah, Library of Alexandria is, is just a messed up card. I'm enjoying this time before the rest of the server catches up because they will soon. Because I also talk about it. I'm not like trying to hide technology or, you know, uh, it's fun to discuss cube picks. But I have frequently said the library I think is busted. And yeah, cycling miscalc. That is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> the Mana Crypt kind of owning the miscalc. And then you go Turok. And yeah, technically you're not dead. But obviously, I'm, I am going to win this game. I mean, I can Cryptic as well. He even knows about the Cryptic. So, okay. Island, go to seven cards. I'm still just library. Why not? I guess I don't need to tap it that way. Uh, Let's bounce this and draw a card. And then attack for seven, and that'll do it. Kaboom. All right, game one goes to me. All right, 
a little sideboarding here. I oh, definitely want a Zemanglehorn. Chain Lightning is probably still good against Luris. They have Deep Cavern Bat. They have Luris. Doesn't really hit Concealing Curtain, sadly. I like the removal spells. Um, Ophiomancer is just okay. I gotta watch out for Toxic Deluge. I don't have any other way to kill artifacts. I could put in Recurring Nightmare to get some of these things back, but I don't think that sounds great. Obviously, Skydiver is kind of the nuts, too. Mm. I could also just take out the Chain Lightning. So it doesn't, the thing is, it doesn't change my mana at all. The Taiga is just a freebie. It doesn't matter. I kind of feel like I should take out Chain Lightning over taking out once upon a time here. Ooh, I got a coffee delivery. Outside assistance here? You love to see it. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> uh, oh, Manglehorn, Fallen Shinobi. That, that's a combo. All right, I'll, I'll try taking out the Chain Lightning for now. I'll leave the Taiga in, whatever. I think that's fine. No, that's just too bad. There's just... There's got to be a lot of things I could kill, up to and including Luris. So, yeah, I guess Once Upon a Time can go. I don't know, it's close. Don't have a strong opinion there. Okay, game two, you get to companion your Luris. I assume. I have actually boarded out Luris companion, or rather put the Luris in the main deck and not companion it if I have, like, multiple three and four mana cards that are powerful in a matchup, but that's an extremely infrequent occurrence, so I wouldn't expect that to happen. All right, Luris has been revealed. Well, I will definitely keep this hand. It's not the best mana crypt hand in the world, but it's still pretty good. All right, let's go probe. <laughs> uh, brainstorm, Miscalculation, Glint Sleeve, Siphoner. So, I don't really want to play Mana Crypt on turn one, so I think I'm going to go Swamp, Mox, Discard Swamp, Pass. I'm going to Infernal Grasp the Glint Sleeve, which I assume Falcon's playing. I mean, I guess you could not play the Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Sure, that's fine too. Just draw for my turn. I'll wait on the Misty Rainforest and just play the land. It's not going to play the miscalc. Yeah, really not taking a, too much advantage of the mana crypt, but I think that's okay. Let's cycle, Ketria Trium, oh, Ur Urtai and Manglehorn. All right, pass again. And here comes the Siphoner. Sure. Mm-hmm. End of turn, Infernal Grasp that. And I guess I'll crack this for a Watery Grave. Yeah, I don't really think I need anything else. Draw, if I at some point draw like a proactive card, that would be good, but I guess we're not doing that. If, uh, if Falcon I cycled Miscalc, I would definitely just Tidebinder it, get my card. <laughs> Putting Luris in the hand? Nope, I'm just chilling. All right. Oh, Dig Through Time. That's a nice one, actually. Hold on. I'm going to play my Mana Crypt here. I don't care about taking the damage. I want to be able to blank Miscalc. It actually probably prompts him to cycle Miscalc. Oh, he's playing Malcolm. Okay. Malcolm's fine. And still not cycling that Miscalc, huh? Uh, let's cast Urtai. I'll kill the Malcolm here, or try to. I've got more removal I can find at some point. Brainstorm in response, so, yep. Don't mind that. I don't really even care if this Urtai gets countered. I just don't think it makes sense for Malcolm to just hit me a bunch here. Okay. And then they draw. And pass the turn. If you're just keeping mana up and I'm keeping mana up, I mean, that's fine with me. You're going to put Luris into hand. Thopter Foundry. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Oh, an Academy. And Chromatic Star. Uh, okay. Sure. And you're going to put Luris into hand or are you going to leave up Miscalculation? There's definitely an argument for putting Luris into hand. It's not like I'm going to use the mana. 
Oh, cut down the urti. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. I've liked to get some value there, but that's fine. Let's pass. Okay, I lost the flip. Um. <laughs> Let's go Manglehorn. We're going to kill Thopter Foundry and we're going to we're going to try to we're going to Tishana's Tide Binder. This turns off the academy reasonably well. Okay, so now let's go Tishana's Tide Binder. We're going to counter the Thopter Foundry, I think. Well, I might actually just counter the Chromatic Star ability. Well, no, I'll counter the Thopter Foundry ability. I would rather them Falcon I draw a card than get a 1-1, because the 1-1 one -one also taps for mana. It's a mana dork, thanks to Academy. Okay, now you're going to sack the other Thopter, and then I'm going to dig through time while the coast is clear. I guess I have to exile the Urtai. Kind of cool stack. <laughs> what do we got? It's a Chain Lightning, at least. Uh, this is kind of mid. Animate Dead does not much for me. I think Luris is coming out soon, so I kind of want to just get Chain Lightning and Troll. And then I've got the mocks to cast the Chain Lightning. And all right, that's that's kind of what we got here. Thoughtseize. Good beats, good beats. What am I hoping to draw here? Shieldred or Undermountain Adventure? Just any of those kind of cards would be pretty nice. Yep, Troll is going down. Falcon has down to two cards in hand. Three now with Luris. I get to make some good attacks here. And drawing a... Oh, drawing Fallen Shinobi would be obscene. Let's go. Let's go Fallen Shinobi. All right, I won the flip. <laughs> and I get to bounce back the Tidebinder. I think that's the one that has the most use. All right. Uh... Yeah, I think Tidebinder is better than Manglehorn. Oh, what a good draw. Don't have a kill spell, please. There's not much you could have. All right, Fallen Shinobi hits and Underground Sea and Deep Cavern bet. You know what? We take those. Let's Deep Cavern your, your Luris here. And this game has turned around a, a little bit, I will say. That was such a lucky sequence. I got to You know, you got to you really have to acknowledge the times you get lucky because surely I'm very good at acknowledging the times I get unlucky. But yes, definitely got to acknowledge when you're lucky. And Luris of the Dream Den, get over here. All right, pass the turn. And if you try to cycle Miskelk, I'm snapping that thing off. <laughs> That's going to be... That, that is just the kind of the nail in the coffin here is that Tishana's Tidebinder shuts down the Miskelk cycle, which I guess, yeah, Falcon and I kind of had to have hanging around still because that brainstorm. This, this has been... <laughs> <laughs> well, I just drew the best card in my deck, so that was nice. Okay, it doesn't cycle it because that just lets me put the Tide Binder out. And he has to draw something good or he's dead because next turn I can just go Chain Lightning the Thopter token and attack with the Ninja. Okay, what is this? From the Catacombs on the Troll. All right. Um, wow, what a good draw. Uh, do I want, I guess it goes both ways. Do I want a Tide Binder here? Does that do anything? It, it doesn't really. And on my turn, I guess I'm going to Chain Lightning the Thopter and attack with the Deep Cavern Bat. It's kind of my plan. And then the Troll can hit me for a lot of damage, which is kind of annoying. And I have a Mana Crypt, huh? Wow, yeah, that was such a sick draw because it not only gets the troll, it also, next turn you can flash it back again. All right, I won the flip at least. Urza Saga is not really much of a draw. Let's bolt the Thopter. Mm -hmm. Attack and gain one, go to 12. And I become the initiative. And I guess I'll get a forest here. Seems like the plan. Play Urza Saga. And past the turn, I will still counter Miscalc Cycling, so I don't. I really don't think that's that likely to happen. 
So you can take the initiative and forge the troll, getting a Malcolm or a Glint Sleeve Siphoner. You could also attack with the troll first to take the initiative back and then and then they flash back the, from the catacombs to take the initiative again. Okay, you're casting catacombs first. And can't... Can't do anything about that. All right. You have the initiative. You get to forge. So the question now is, do I want to stop... Well, I guess it could also be lost well. Okay, we're forging onto the troll. I could counter that and then triple block and it can kill Tidebinder and Shinobi. Or I could take eight and then hope to not die next turn. But then, let's see, I play Tidebinder. I attack for six. I guess I could also Urza Saga to make a thing next turn. All right. I don't think I want to block here. You get another energy, which actually lets you draw next turn. Okay. I mean, you have to attack with the troll, I would suspect. It's just kind of hard not to. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll go to four. And then the question is, do I uh, Tidebinder the Mana Crypt? I guess I probably do. Because then I don't go to one and I don't have the the risk of, of having it flip next turn either. All right. So untap, upkeep. I think I tied binder here. Mm. Tied binder mana crypt. Well, it actually came up, which is funny. Okay. Missed on my turn. Tack. I'm at four and I have three blockers if I leave back the ninja. So I think I attack like this. And could definitely die here. But, you know, what are you going to do? That top deck was absurd. It's even better than my top deck, I think. Um, forge or lost well? Hmm. I think... So if I forge onto the shinobi, it trades with the troll. I could forge onto the bat. I think I'm going to forge onto the bat here. I'm just kind of all in on this bat. Play Taiga. Oh, I actually should have played Forest now. That gave him the information. He gets to cycle his miscalc finally. Oh, he's entombing? Does he have another play? His last card in hand is miscalculation. Entomb. So it's, he had a multiple ways to get to from the catacombs. All right, well, Entomb probably doesn't let him get a, li a live card here. I would be surprised if Falcon and I had like a second flashback card in the deck. It doesn't look like he's splashing Lingering Souls, so it might just be Entomb put a land in the graveyard or Entomb put something I might want to lure us in the graveyard. Like sort of the Meek, I guess, is probably a pretty good Entomb card. So I am set to win this game. He's got two draws because he gets to draw off of uh, the miscalculation cycle as well. But if he doesn't draw a way to kill a creature in those two draws, then I think I probably win, because next turn I just attack with everything and he dies, presumably. But obviously it's uh, it's going to be close. Mm -hmm. he's, not, he's already used Cut Down, right? Yeah, he cut down the Urtai a while ago. All right. Entomb for Sword of the Meek, Cycle Miscalc. All right, do your thing. Draw... If you got it, you got it. Cross my fingers here. You have, you kind of have to attack because otherwise I just attack back with everything. I'm just not really that scared of a removal spell because if you had a removal spell, you would kill me. And we'll see. What do we got? This looks bad. It's a lot of mana. Concealing Curtains would be okay. Oh, Toxic Deluge? <laughs> that was the draw? All right, well done, well done. Go into game three, I guess. Well, had to have a lot of rips to, to win that game. Damn. Um, I'm on the play. Does that change anything? Not really, I don't think. I don't think I want Recurring Nightmare. I don't think I want Spellseeker. Spellseeker is nice with the ninja. All right. 
Well, let's do it. Is there any thought to Oracle? It feels like these games have been pretty grindy. Oracle can be nice in those spots. He has Glint Thief, Siphoner, and the Bat, and Evolve Sleeper and Lurus. I'm just looking at this Chain Lightning again. Kind of wondering if I just want an Oracle of Moldiah. Mutagenic Growth to counter Cut Down and Toxic Deluge. It's not like completely crazy, but I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm on the play. I'll, I'll Oracle here. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. All right, I'm on the play. Let's go library. Library would be nice. What about a note lander? Now I don't want library because library is not nice. All right, well this is a good hand. I'm gonna keep this. Just put animate dead on the bottom. Hope to draw Mox Diamond more than anything else. Hope to not get Thought Seized. Okay, that's not a Thought Seize. Well, it could be a Thought Seize. Whoa. Turn one Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I swear to God, if I draw Oracle... All right, that was not an Oracle. Well, I don't like it, but it's looking like I might get an opportunity to, to True Name here. Oh, man, please don't have... Oh, Falcon Eye is going to have turn one glint sleeve, turn two miscalculation. I can just feel it. Oh, should I have just played Skydiver? The problem is Skydiver is so good against him. It seems pretty hard to, to cast a Skydiver against an Academy deck. Mm, mana Drain? Turn one glint sleeve, turn two Mana Drain. Uh, well, let's put Luris into hand, sure. I don't know. As it turned out, playing a cat, playing Skydiver would have definitely been better. But also, if he just cuts it down, it's just so bad. All right, let's see if we can if we can financially recover from this. Let's just pass. Urtai is actually a pretty good way to to go about things here. Okay, I'm just gonna Urtai that now or try to. I'm not. He had his mana up the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see if I can draw a play of some kind. Or you can play an artifact, maybe. Reanimate my true name. Okay. Cryptic command. Nope. We're just casting Skydiver. Okay. We gotta hope this is a really good... Fallen Shinobi. Fallen Shinobi and a Toxic Deluge could do something. We just got, we mulliganed against the Nut Perfect draw. Yeah, I I mean, I really could have played the Skydiver earlier, and I can accept that maybe I should have. If I had known he also had Mana Drain in hand, I guess I would have been inclined to do so. But we'll see. Oh, look, there's a Chromatic Star I could have stolen. <laughs> okay, please don't be killing my Skydiver. What is this? Oh, we're just casting Luris and then replaying Petal. Oh my god, if he has cut down after this, it's gonna be so gross or thought sees. I still probably lose even if I ninja here, but at least I have a shot if I do. No. No, it's not happening. Oh, maybe it is, maybe it is. I'm drawing a swamp. Alright. Mmm. Mm. Should I attack? Yeah, okay, I'll attack. All right, let's go. Let's go, Ninja. If I hit Deluge here, it's going to be awesome. All right. Toxic Deluge one time. No, it's Turok. Unfortunately, I can't even kick it. Oh, I should have even played the wrong land. All right. I'll cast Turok, and then I'll cast the Skydiver, because I think I just need to cast my creatures, and then pass. And then next turn, I have Cryptic Tap Your Team to, to try and hit with the Fallen Shinobi. That would be that would be pretty neat. He can replay a Chromatic Star with his Luris. He could also, uh, I guess if he attacks with, with the Glint Sleeve, I just have to take it, because if, if I double block, he kills both my creatures. <laughs> <laughs> and then gets to replay Tarak out of the graveyard. So yeah, let's not do that. From the Catacombs, Urtai. Blow up my Fallen Shinobi. I assume that's what's happening. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm dead. I cannot win. Well, that was unfortunate. On to the next. All right, time to battle Troll Ascetic, and whoa, what a hand. This hand is perfection, I would say. About as good as it gets. Get to play Library and then have Chrome or a Mox Diamond to catch us up on speed. Get to get to have Remand up pretty soon here, too. Troll on mid-range green of some kind. Oh no, Simeon Spirit Guide. A turn one play makes the library a little bit less enticing. What are we casting? Turn one Simeon Spirit Guide into... Is it like a Mana Dork? Oh, it's an Inti. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm still gonna... I'm still gonna go with the library plan and just hope to draw into some removal here. Turn one Inti on the Red Green Beats plan. Okay, let's see if you miss here. Discard Mountain. All right, trample and hit. Dismember, nice, that's just a miss. Yeah, I love to see that. All right, if, if Troll doesn't have a play this turn, obviously he's got a land, he wouldn't have discarded a land otherwise. And now he's got the Cobra. Now I go Urza Saga, go to eight cards. Hold on, hold control, Mox Diamond in response library. And discard an island. And then pass the turn. Shame I played this mox. I, if I'd drawn once upon a time earlier, it would have been free. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take some damage here, but I'm going to get to play a Shieldred next turn, which and he's, his dismember, he's fresh out of dismembers. <laughs> so that's not bad. Okay. Let's see if he can miss on NT one more time. Deathrite Shaman. Nah, that's not a miss, unfortunately. All right. I take six. Mm. I am going to remand that, though. I think that's better than shield reading. All right, he didn't play anything. So Saga, oh, Saga's on now too. Let's see. It's three, two, he can make, the problem is, no, I actually shouldn't have played the Saga this the last turn. Cause I think I just am so likely to just want to jam Shieldred. It could just win the game though, the Shieldred. I just should have, I should have played Saga this turn is, is I think what I wanted to do. Okay, please don't have a, Oh man, it's even path, not swords. <laughs> well, I cannot catch a break here. This is a, this is a shame. Okay, his last card was. <laughs> All right, I get a five. Let's draw. It's library. I guess cryptic is something. I can't even use that. I mean, I'm at five. Do I? Can I even afford to get mana crypt? I don't think I can. Island, say go. Mm -hmm. I think I just tap draw. I mean, I could bounce Inti to remove a plus one, plus one counter, but I don't think that sounds very good. Oh, casting a spell first. I do like that. Really? No, he's not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> now my hand is seven lands. That's cool. Uh, man. Sentinel of the Nameless City. Sure. There's an Infernal Grasp. Play my land. Draw a card. Chain Light. So even drew that. So I, otherwise I could go Chain Lightning. Grasp. Go to three. Yeah, but now I'm dead. All right, that didn't feel like that bad. He had to have the path and the white exactly that turn. Um, mutagenic growth. It protects shield from, from dismember, and it feels like we're going to get into little creature combats. I actually think the mutagenic growth could be fine. Thieving Skydiver didn't look very good. Kind of like the rest of the cards. True Name Nemesis is fantastic in this kind of matchup, so hopefully we can get there. All right, I would like to play first. All right, this is a turn one generous end. <laughs> I mean, I guess, why not, right? Mm -hmm. Cycle this, get overgrown tomb. Pay the life and then animate dead the generous end. 
All right, all right. I like this. Turn one, four, seven. And I get a food, so it's like two mana crypt flips of, of equity there. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Not too many turn one generous ents uh, in general here, but, but I suppose I don't mind. Mm -hmm. And the rest of my hand is pretty bad, to be honest, but, you know, maybe we can find some action. If I find a Fallen Shinobi next turn, that would be so funny if that was the way I got Fallen Shinobi to go. Okay, turn one. Oh my god, turn one Savannah into Swords, my thing, and even played around Tishana's Tidebinder. All right, well, get an island. Lose my flip. No, I actually won the flip. All right, drown in the lock. Not amazing, but yeah, it counters the next play. That's fine, and then I can cryptic the next play. All right, we're back on our feet. At least it was path. In this case, I would have preferred it to be path. Last game, Swords to Plashers would have been better for me, but oh, kill my Evergreen Tomb. Sure. Uh, do I want to sack this food token? Wow, he's gonna, and he's gonna get to play. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just the fact that he got Simeon Spirit Guide plus Wasteland. Like, all right, all right. I'm going to sack the food now because Urza Saga is not going anywhere with that Wasteland. Probably going to draw it now. Nope, no draw. <laughs> it's fun a time that I can't cast. This is really, this draft has been really a, a treat in terms of uh, how things have gone. Like, it's it's unbelievable. <laughs> let's see uh, let's see what happens now. So Wasteland plus Simeon Spirit Guide into Ren and Six, a card I can't kill with Drown. Or Chain Lightning, and then I draw a green card. Okay, well, he didn't make a play. That's something, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to just fire off a Cryptic here. I don't have anything to do. Uh, sure, that's fine, too. I don't I don't really care. The Mana Crypt's really doing very little for me right now. It would let me cast Cryptic, but countering the, the Terra Sunder really doesn't seem like it. And then, of course, I drew another Uncastable, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to win this game. Mm -hmm. Broadside Bombardiers. I mean, sure, that's a fine card. But it doesn't. it's not the best right now. All right. Now I have Cryptic up, and then I can cast Once Upon a Time. I am going to have to bounce that Renin 6 at some point here. And by some point, I guess I kind of mean now, because... It's getting up to seven loyalty and letting him replay infinite paths and Terra Sunders is just not going to be good for me. So what I'm probably going to do here is counter whatever Matt plays next and bounce Ren in six. And then on my turn, hope to draw really true name Nemesis is the card that I'm hoping for. But yeah, you get your wood foothills back. I can't stop you. Oh, end of turn. All right, well. I'll bounce around six and draw a card, then that's fine too. Okay, that gets a watery grave, so I can cast a ninja. I can also get a taiga. Hmm. I kind of want to once upon a time to see what I'm getting first. Tachana's Tidebinder, Undermount Adventure. Yeah, or or just get the taiga. I think I like Tidebinder here. Play the Misty past the turn. And we'll see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't have a play. What I want him to do is Ren and Six, and then I could Tidebinder the Ren and Six, and then, well, I'm mostly just playing Tidebinder as a way to get a ninja hit in next turn. That is my goal. Though, if he plays a creature this turn, I guess I'd... Oh, he's got that Wasteland, though, still in hand, which is pretty annoying. I well, control for a uh, Swamp. I mean, we'll see. We'll, I guess we'll see what happens here. Control has a lot of cards in hand, but I guess one's a Wooded Foothills, one's a Wasteland. Okay, Court of Garenbrig. Oh, that's that's awesome. That's so good for me. Because now I can crack this. I 
can get a taiga and I can Tishana's Tidebinder, the Court of Garenbrig. It doesn't lose the ability, but but uh, he's not the monarch. I think monarch is worse for me here. Oh, he has dismember. Well, dismember is going to get me at some point. So, but then he and then he doesn't have. He's not able to play wasteland, and then now I can go chain lightning on this because I'm about to lose my taiga. So chain lightning that, and then cycle troll to get swamp, just basic swamp here. Play a swamp, and now I've got drown the lock and infernal grasp. He has wasteland in hand. All right, you know, this really could have been a little bit worse. Like, obviously, things weren't looking good, but I can kill Matt's next two creatures. He, he can't, he has nothing to put counters on. He's not the monarch, and yeah, wasteland my taiga if you want. So five mana, so I can and I can counter that because he has five cards in the graveyard, and then pass. And then I think I might just drop fallen shinobi. I don't know. I would really like to just draw true name here. And then this member's already gone. All right, fallen shinobi pass. He's already used path at least and ter terra sunder. So. If he doesn't play two creatures this turn, I can probably get the Fallen Shinobi in. If he has Flame Slash, that would be so amazing. Lotus Cobra, don't mind that. And a Stomping Ground. Untapped, I don't like that. So he's got, he's got some creatures here. So what is this? Minsk and Boo? Okay. <laughs> All right. Put the counters on and no attacks let's draw no now we're just completely screwed because i can he had two creatures like i can kill i can kill one but i can't kill the other so i think i'm going to play baleful strix first to hope to draw anything all right attack minsk and boo Mm-hmm. Mutagenic growth past the turn. Hit Minskin Boo plus a creature. Oh man. Every time I think I'm crawling back in, they just they just get me. So now there's no way to stack it to get the counters, I, I don't think. So you gotta just give two counters to the Cobra. He's got the red and six, yeah. Ping. Pump that and attack for four. No, you're not gonna. You're not gonna attack. It's way too greedy to attack here. I think attacking's crazy. And didn't draw anything. Mm. Guess I'll play Ophiomancer and play my land and pass the turn. Boom, boom, boom. Get a snake. Hope to draw. Nah, I don't really have anything to draw at this point. It is too late for me. Okay. I mean, I guess if if he minuses the 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 mink. Oh well, actually, actually, because now he has to sack the cobra. He does. He does get to kill the fallen shinobi. But if he doesn't have a play, if he just didn't draw a play for a turn, oh, I, I guess I can't even quite kill a Minskin Boo because the Ren and Six is going to ping the Snake token. Well, let's see what I draw here. I mean, if, maybe if I draw some action. All right. Attack Minskin Boo. Just going to chump with Halfling. No, it goes to one. Pass the turn. He gets his halfling up to a 3-4. And then gets to ping if he wants the snake token. I guess I don't care too much about that. All right. I mean, this game has actually ended up being a pretty sick game. Like, I, it's like I'm crawling up the hill and every time I get close, just whack. It's like, uh, almost there, but not quite. Like, I got, the, like, countering the Titania was pretty good. The, like, 
Infernal Grasp to kill Minsk and Boo was pretty good, or to kill Boo and then force the sack of Lotus Cobra. But... Oh, we played the Wasteland. That's odd. 12, all right. Attack Minsk and Boo. Goes to one. Undermountain Adventurer here. I mean, this isn't going to work, but... Like I said, I've got to just keep keep battling. I don't really have no real reason to concede here, but I can't really conceive of how I'm going to win this game. I played my little heart out. I did what I could. You know, the good games are good games. I will say that. It feels like this draft has been like kind of designed to, to, to string me along as, as the way it's played out, but these games have been sick. I, I don't mind that. Okay, so now... Minsk and Boo, attack. He can have 12 points of trample coming at me at most, but he's also just going to attack and put the counter on Inti. Okay, well, what if he discards and misses? What if he doesn't hit? Hit forest, all right. Trample, trample, no trample. If already used cryptic, could draw Shieldred. You're going to become the monarch. I don't care about that. Sure, I guess I'll go to one. Or maybe I double block. Maybe I should just double block Inti. Go to one. Yeah, all right. That sounds better. Kill the Undermountain. I go to one. I really hope he doesn't have anything else in his hand here. I mean, I can't beat what's on the board by really any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, I've got to try. All right. He goes to one, gets the monarch back. I can kill. I can kill uh, Minsk and Boo, and then with Ophiomancer, and then I can attack to get the monarch back with the snake. That just leaves a seven-seven trample and a four-five for me to deal with with no cards in hand. But you know, other than that, other than that, we're doing good. Oh no, I even just died a red and six. Never mind. There's a red and six too. Yep. Yep. All right, O2, let's see if we can get one for the team. All right, me and Talisker in the O2 showdown, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this hand is obviously not great, but turn two Saga with a removal spell is not a bad opener. And uh, I think this is worth doing. Let's go Urza Saga, pass the turn. Let's see what you got, Taliscarino. Okay. And no cycling, okay. It'd be cool if that was something I could Infernal Grasp, though obviously that's like probably asking a lot. All right, Troll. <clears throat> no, that looks like a, that looks like a Troll I would be casting, I'll tell you that much, because I get to make a token end of turn, make another token, get a Mana Crypt, and just swing for the fences. Lelia, okay. Well, I can make a token, make a token, get a mana crypt, and kill the Lelia. Though actually, hit Jace the Mind Sculptor, nice. Love when you whiff. It actually might make sense to get Mox Diamond here. Talisker is playing red, and I have excess lands in hand, so it doesn't seem too bad. Let's make a token. Let's make a token. Well, let's say I have one, two. No, I should probably. Oh, just gonna burst lightning one of the tokens. Sure, that is good. He did have another good play. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. So if I mox, I'll have one, two, three, four, five mana total. It's 17. I'm gonna get mana crypt. I'm gonna play for the dub. And then, cause then now I can play troll next turn as opposed to not. It seems like a pretty big difference. I guess I can't attack because of uh, summoning sickness. Obeying the rules of magic. And I have overgrown tomb for green, so it's not like I'm hurting there. Okay. Fury. Mm, that's kind of annoying. I'm probably just going to Urtai and kill the Fury here. I think that is the play. Overgrown tomb. Okay, lost the flip. Well, at least, at least I drew a forest. 
Urtai, Kill Fury, Cast Noble. So what did Saga do? Saga traded for Fury's ability and Burst Lightning and got me a Mana Crypt. Eh, that's not bad. Talisker, why are you slamming? Oh, jeez. Why are you slamming all these expensive cards? I don't like it. Uh, okay. That I at least get to attack into with Urtai and then play a troll. But if obviously if he's got another play here. Talisker's 0-2. <laughs> that's, that's a beat, I guess. If we're Lotus, if he's sacking the Lotus this turn, I, I, I think I just lose. I mean, pending what I draw, I suppose. Metamorph into another Caves of Chaos adventure. Okay. Mm, what am I hoping to draw here? Oh, and a Grim Lava Mancer, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, nope. True Name's great, but not going to be two Caves of Chaos adventures in a trap. All right. Well, that deck looked absurdly good, so <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, mutagenic growth. Yeah, that can stop a fury and or a burn spell. And he's just like the burst lighting. And he's just a red deck, so seems fine. I'll keep the skydiver in. I guess I'll take once upon a time out again. And I'm on the play. Let's see if we can get get a get a match out of this curse draft. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going to mulligan this hand. Drawing the lock doesn't do anything. And Thieving Sky Diver doesn't do much. I guess I just keep this and just put the Noble back. And then go turn two, Remand. Turn three, Ophiomancer. Oh, yeah, that's good enough for Legacy Cube. <laughs> Talisker is also mulliganing, at least. All right, well, let's go Island Go. And see what... Carlos Carino's got for me. Mox and look. <laughs> yeah, I'm 0-2 too. <laughs> uh, sure. Turn one elite spellbinder. And Adonto Vanguard. <laughs> what in the world? Are you kidding me? Well, I do get a sneak here though. You must have a burn spell for Ophiomancer. Can I just draw a Mutagenic growth, that would be so sick, because I, I really feel like he's just going to burst lightning this. Otherwise, he would have just taken it. Oh, no, no, he was just he was just getting aggro. Okay. Oh, he had fury, of course. So I take six. If I draw an island here, I can cast cryptic. If I draw a spell, oh, chain lightning is nice. Okay, so now I go chain lightning the elite spellbinder. He can't even reflect it. Pass the turn. Go to five. Okay. Uh, do I cycle the troll? I'm going to... No, I'm going to cycle the troll. Because I think I'm going to want to go Watery Grave tapped. Yeah. I could pay two life to bounce the Vanguard, but that doesn't really seem like a good exchange. And now I could cast Remand for four mana if he played something. I'm going to die to... I don't care if I die to Burst Lightning. Where did he pitch anyway? Pitched Rampaging Raptor, sure. Okay. Metamorph? I'll remand that. Mm-hmm. Drown in the Lock, huh? Wow, none of these things <laughs> stop. <laughs> the Danto Vanguard, really funny. Uh... I guess I bounce it and draw a card. I think that's probably for the best. And then hope he doesn't burst lightning me in response to kill me. <laughs> if he had, if he, if his play is metamorph, I mean he can't really play metamorph now. Though obviously he can just replay the Adonto Vanguard. Let's see. What am I hoping for here? Honestly, Undermount Adventure would be pretty good, though. Oh, Baleful Strix is nice. All right. Territorial Cob... Oh, is it 2-2? Two, two? That's it? Okay. That was a great draw. Thanks, Mana Crypt. Uh, let's just drown in the lock that thing. And then pass. And then if he plays Adonto Vanguard, I'm going to Urtai it. And then I don't really care about... 
I mean, Metamorph's just whatever. Oh, maybe I should have just played Baleful Strix to block the Territorial Kavu. Lorien Revealed. Okay. Island Preordain. Oh, man. He's back into it. I don't like where we're at here. Given that I'm at two still and Talisker has Metamorph and Unknowns in hand. And I'm over here drawing Mana Crypts. All right, can I get a Ninja? Ninja would be a way to get in there. All right, well, I'll just draw a land instead. That sounds better. I'm going to attack. I am not playing around haste creatures here. I've got to try to win this game. I'm certainly not going to, but I have to try. I don't know. I'm still in it when my opponent would turn one lo Mox Lotus two creatures into Fury on turn two or whatever. <laughs> Are you going to Metamorph me? All Metamorph does is draw me closer to Oko off the Mox. Okay. Talisker's mana looks really bad. Like this is just like a classic Talisker deck, except he just doesn't have all the duels. I guess that could explain why he's doing poorly. All right. Well, that's not terrible. I'll attack Oko now. Generous Ent at least makes it so I don't uh, I don't just die to a burn spell. I think I'm just going to sack the food token now. If he had burn, he would have killed me already. So I just wanted to do that now. Jetmere's Garden. He can metamorph the, the Generous Ent. Oh, he's metamorphing the Urtai, killing the Generous Ent. Okay, I actually don't mind that, because I'm looking for Fallen Shinobi. Unearth. Unearthing Ophiomancer is not terrible. All right. Oh, Shieldred's nice. Okay. Uh, this Oko is really a problem, though. So we're just trading here. Yeah, I guess I'm attacking Oko here as well. He's used the Metamorph at least. Let's get back Ophiomancer. And then cast Shieldred. And now Oko does have to use the Shieldred, have to eat the Shieldred. I guess I shouldn't have attacked the Baleful Strix last turn because of Metamorph Urtai. I didn't really think that's what was going to happen. Okay, Talisman's fine. Could he maybe run out of things to do? Touch the Spirit Realm. Okay. And make a food token. All right, action. Nope. All right, now I'm going to sit back because I don't really want to have to chump a food token with an Ophiomancer here. You can Oko and send a f two food at me, but it doesn't really make sense to send in food or send in creatures to trade for the snake token. Oh, he's not tapping the Fiery Light. I just can't win. Whatever he's casting is going to kill me. Winds of Abandon, yeah. All right, well, that was a demolishing, and you know what? That That's just a shame. Sometimes it happens. This deck was just okay. I don't think this deck was anything special, honestly. It was just a fine deck. I feel like the ways I lost were kind of outrageous, but that is going to happen too. And uh, you know what? Let this be a lesson in taking the beats, because that's sure what I took today. <clears throat> All right. That'll do it for today. I appreciate you watching. Win or lose. Sometimes win. Definitely sometimes lose. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We've got murders at Karlov Manor drafts as well as cube drafts. They're popping off, so don't miss one, a single one. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.